Hi, Rob Linhart here in the Hazel's Wine Department. Here we go with Sunday Wines for June 9th. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you to Hazel, Jane, and Jack. Vanilla we got you and passed you right back. Going to start this week with two wines from Belle Creme de Lis, both 2015 vintage. The Chardonnay, really well done Chardonnay. Fantastic deal here. Right down the middle, California Chardonnay. It's got its share of new oak, so you get a little vanilla, a little spice. Really nice, kind of baked apple, baked pineapple. Lovely little wine, great value, and a good California Chard. Also from 2015, we've got the Belle Creme de Lis Pinot Noir. This Pinot, very fresh up front. Nice cherry, berry fruits, just a little whiff of cocoa, little whiff of spice. There's a bit of oak there, but not driving the bus really on this wine. Great juicy acidity on the finish. Fantastic value and a really affordable Pinot. All right, next up, the 2016 Marchese di Barolo Mariah. This is Barbera del Monferrato. 2016 going to go down as one of the all-time great vintages in Piedmont, and this wine shows that. Barbera known to be a fairly simple wine, but absolutely delicious. Incredibly fresh, black cherry, berry fruit, huge blast of raspberry on the finish, little Italian leather, great juicy acidity, very fine tannins, super easy drinking. If you're looking for a porch pounder or an overall good red wine, you're gonna find it right here, fantastic deal. Next up, we've been hearing good things about the 2018 vintage in Bordeaux. This is really showing that. This is a Sauvignon Blanc from Chateau La Roque. 100% Sauvignon Blanc, but for all that, little richness in this wine but great acidity, that beautiful, super ripe grapefruit. Little citrus skin on the finish, bit of a melon tone, whiff of grass in there, nice minerality, fantastic. Great young white Bordeaux. Next up, something of a legend. This is the 2017 Folia de Russian River Chardonnay. Very much in the vein of the Belle Creme de Lis in terms of overall style, but Russian River, we're taking it to a whole other level here. Bigger, richer, creamier, tons of really great baked fruit, lovely peach pie, great spice. Bit more substantial oak influence on this wine than the Bell Creme, but again, you get that gorgeous, silky, rich Russian River texture. Another fantastic deal on a great California Shard. Next up, a really special producer for you. We're gonna start with the 2013 Tenuta Capilina. This is the Diane Toscana IGT. So this think super Tuscan here. This is Sangiovese, Merlot, Cabernet, Syrah, all the usual suspects they're doing down there with that international style. This is a big, deep, dark, richer style for a super Tuscan showing the character of that vintage. Great complexity, great interest. It's drinking a little young, so there's definitely some tannin on this wine, but what I really like about this wine, it really carries through on the palate. Front to back, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this wine on your palate to go along with a great, beautiful, classic Super Tuscan nose. All right, and last, but certainly not least, again, something a little special here. This is the 2013 Tenuta Capolina Gran Selezione, Chiani Classico. 2013, the first year they allowed the Grand Selezione. It's exactly what it sounds like, great selection. So very selective in the fruit, very selective in the vineyard character, uh, very limited yield. So really precise rules that go into the making of this wine. This is the first vintage for this wine. So ultimately we're not sure where it's gonna land in terms of style. For this one particularly right now, elegance is the watchword for this wine. Tannins are there, but already very fine. Very good depth on this wine but elegance, focus in the fruit is really what's happening with this wine. As it opens up, it'll get deeper, it'll start to pull you into the glass. Another wine that carries through on the palate very nicely, great finish on this wine. A terrific entry for a new category for Tuscany. Don't miss out on this one. That's the full excellent lineup we've got for you this week. And as always, plenty more to say when I see you on Sunday. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back.